Well, I got called out again. Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here. Today, today we're going to be watching a video as a response to my previous video on Life Orb Sucks. Now in that video, I was talking specifically about 6v6 OU and I got a lot of comments in that video. I'm going to be honest, I got a lot of comments in that video that was like, no dude, you don't know what you're talking about. When I Dynamax my dry, after that I just stopped reading because when you say when I Dynamax my Pokemon, you're not talking about the same as me, obviously. But... I was looking through YouTube and I saw a video that looked really familiar so I decided to click on it and uh, yeah my merch is available you can use code blue skies for 10% off I think I should have said that in the beginning maybe uh yo Pedro add this you're not gonna remember to add this I don't even know if you're gonna watch it to the end but add my merch code blue skies 10% off yeah, I've been killing on that but yeah. let's go ahead and watch this is by sacred sky <laughs> as a response to my life orb sucks video so this should be a lot of fun, and obviously I'll have the uh, I have the original video link down below. And don't worry, Volcarona is coming next week. I'm gonna be talking. I'm gonna be talking some good about Volcarona. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. And also, like I said, the original link to it is down below. Earlier today, I was scrolling through YouTube, and I came across this video. Life Orb sucks. <laughs> Why did I do that? As an intro to my other video. <laughs> and I don't even have to say it. You all know what I'm gonna do. So my dude we made a life orb team. Life orb team. It is ready to go. It is ready to battle. It is ready to cook. Let me let me let me take you through this team really quick. We lead off with the Nido King. A I want to stop him right there. Just gonna pause him right there because uh, this is a really funny response to what I did. Instead of people getting upset, they decided to try and prove me wrong, which is really cool. And obviously, Nido King is one of the exceptions when it comes to a life orb because it's sheer force. You don't take any damage. It's cool. However, I already see a problem with the team right there. That boy's Nido King is naive. So my dude is trying to get swept by Specs Moonblast from Lele. At least go hasty so you can live the role. This is Sacred Sky, by the way, if you guys. I'm on Incognito as well. That's why it says I'm not subscribed. But I am actually subscribed to Sacred Sky. But, uh, yeah, we got Blaziken, too. And there's another problem we hold, too. There's a real, really quick problem as well. If you're going to go Life Orb Blaziken, because I think the best Blaziken sets are Choice Band, right? I think Choice Band, SD Protective Pads, even Heavy Duty Boots type of Defog type of thing. If you're going to go Life Orb, don't go Weak Blaze Kick. You're going to die anyway to Life Orb. Go Flare Blitz and do some damage. But, anyway, let's keep watching naive nature one because we're not we're not all special attacks need focus punch school focus punch to deal with chancy blissy uh heatran maybe you know air balloon heatran <laughs> maybe uh that's it exists King. we have our life or blaziken it has a dual chop for dragonites and potentially dragapults pretty cool troller the slow bro now i had originally had this with toxic and fire blast but it was garbage <laughs> right i made this team with a friend of mine on discord who i had mentioned in a previous video who had peaked number one in multiple tiers and he oh okay the, uh, you know, clean this team up. So we got some competition. We got some competition from the friend, but now as for now, okay, there I have an issue here, because again, that not even specs lele. Now scarf lele is a problem too, because my dude cannot hit it with anything. And it's just gonna click buttons. They do have special defensive Clefable though. I can respect that. I still think specs moonblast is gonna do a lot, but it's cool. For the Bisharp, Joey had specifically mentioned how awful it was with Life Orb. And I kind of hey, they were paying attention, but we have to do it. And I he agreed. A mix of black glasses, choice band, and now finally life orb Bisharp. You know, every everything's been covered. We have Swords Dance, Iron Head, Knockoff, Sucker Punch, the standard set, and then uh, the Torn with life orb superpower, pretty standard there. Finally, the Clefable. Originally, it had Trick. We wanted it to be Zap Cannon. <laughs> it's not compatible with Soft Boiled, so we're settling with Thunder. I can it's respect tough. it. That's I can respect Thunder. Uh, it is time to see if Joey was right. Or if I'm just being a contrarian for now, I don't know where they are on the ladder. I don't. But just looking at the first team, the second they click Quiver Dance with Volcarona, they win. Dragapult has uh, very few switch ins, and also opposing Bisharp is a problem. So this is gonna be really funny too. Also, they're hasty bird. I think that Tornado should never be hasty either, uh, just because of, especially if you're running super power too, because opposing Bisharp, Rillaboom, and stuff like this. So this is gonna be interesting to see if those natures actually make a difference when it comes to it. My, and I'm gonna be pausing throughout this entire time, because I'm not just gonna watch somebody's video and upload it, alright? I have to react. This is, this is, uh. 
something something law whatever i forgot what it's called don't matter youtube will flag whatever they want anyway no reason at all if there was ever I'll take a shower a again Gen before we started, guys. Team I want to test that. something like this out on. This is just the prime example. Agreed. The only thing it's missing is a Kiram. I do like Clefable <laughs> a little bit, but Tornado seems to be the safest option here. Comp Clefable is decent too. Or Landorus. I'm just gonna go for a Hurricane off the rip. See how much this does. A little bit, a little bit risky. Some te sometimes people run Banderus, yeah, but land the oh my god, 85 percent. Oh my god, you just explode on us. What was that for? <laughs> Who might you switch out? Into? So that Rillaboom gonna be a threat. So maybe the Blades again, right? Setting out the potential for a sweep. If you want to go into, uh, you know, if if I go into slow bro predicting that, then Nido Nido King's well. decent too. Go yep. Into Nido King. It forces Rillaboom yeah, exactly. or it Rillaboom to do a certain thing. Yeah. And you know, a Grassy Glide Choice Band will kill me. A Choice Band Grassy Glide easily, will kill. easily. So I'm just gonna do what I know to do. Ooh, is not it not choice? As it's a life orb. A life orb of your own. <laughs> What an awful item. Look at that. <laughs> Couldn't even kill. I, I love the monotone. Because I, I, I'm i like that too. Uh, a lot of the time. Uh, sarcastic as well. I like to think so. And I love that that came into play right there. So I guess in that situation though, Naive actually ended up being better than Hasty. So I'll give him that. Couldn't even kill the Nido King. What is it? Base 60 defense. Base 10 HP. Nido King. Oh, we got some, we got some facts to back it up too. The, the life orb couldn't even do it. Only, only my life orbs. Those are the only ones that count. That is most definitely a physical dragon pool. We're switching in on the dragon darts. How did you know it was physical? Is it because it was nicely? Now Moonblast absolutely bodies the rest of your team. You have I did it as the really third eye. <laughs> is Stealth Rock's worth it? Nah. Blaziken could be Sash, right? The Volcarona won't take any. Damage I mean, you got. Oh, you don't have Rocky Helmet. I don't You're know right. if I want to Moonblast or just like predict the Volk. I think I want to do that. I'll predict Bisharp or Volk. Sure, makes me look makes makes me look good either way. On a different note, if Volcarona was uh, Quiver Dance Psychic, at plus one it always kills Blaziken, at neutral it does not kill 100% of the time, I believe. So, well it's close, depends. If it's modest it can still kill, I believe. But, that was a good double regardless, so I'll give him that too. Right, close combat will do a chunk to anything it, to anything it hits, honestly. Blaze Kick is do good too. Do I sword stance here and win? Do I just sword stance? Well you're adamant, so you'll be combat. slower than Dragapult, but... Dual Chop probably wins. I swear, I just lost because of this, didn't I? Nah, no, bro, you won because you got your life orb taken out. Yeah, life orb was goaded, but um. Hey. Oh, there's the sucker punch. Hey, man. Ooh, yo. Ooh. We're crazy. Look, he's gonna think. I, he's gonna think. Look at this. He's gonna. He's gonna think I sword stance again. <laughs> Why would you think that? Why are you say this? <laughs> this is a silly. This is a silly and danger. Yo, they kind of look like me. You just lost, didn't you? I can't I know how it works. Win the game, not even using life. By the way. Losing their life orb there was the best thing to happen to them. They only get two hits after. Also, close combat was definitely the better play. What, <laughs> well, dude? Watch this thing. We we have to calc this. If dual chop kills, there's no way it kills. No, watch it does this not. Be focus ash, and then dual chop kills. We have we have to calc it. Can't believe I'm doing this. Blaziken v Blaziken. It doesn't kill. Swords of Dance. Why not? Bro, it's base there, forty. There, there are no defensive Blazikens running around. Um, yeah, you'd be surprised. Dual chop. Envy, Envy oh, might got a video. Play. He might. So we have to. Nice Will O Wisp. That, give it the Rock ball. Smash. That will make all the difference. Plus two. Okay, I thought Dual Chop was doing that much. No, but, it doesn't kill. But you're adamant, it though. It doesn't kill. It's not worth it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. No Sash. That's it. My, my dude got his first kill. Without Life Orb, by the way. Pole comes out. Watch this. Look at this heat. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you can't. That move is trash, bro. I said watch this heat, and I missed my dual chop. That was Volker gonna go in. I said watch this heat. I missed my ninety. I didn't even know that could miss. I'm he so was out garbage of it, yeah. at this game. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so garbage at this game. It's crazy. I'm sort of dancing. Watch you might get fire. You get a fire blasted, bro. Dragon dance. All right. Oh. Keep messing around. Look. I, I can play to the Sucker Punch games. No, oh, they did the exact same thing right back. You gotta be joking with me. <laughs> My homie's about. No bro, they're, there they're special no defensive cleft too. They lost. Happened. If I lose this, do I lose this? If this now? is Steel Wing, there's no, well, way. there's no way it's Steel Wing. It has to be Phantom Force. There's no way. It it, it can't be. But if they get any damage on the table, it's they, Phantom Force. They lose to Volcarona immediately. I swear, to, I swear, if we do not live this, this will be the most tragic thing because we missed the dual chop. 89%. You're you, gone. You lose the Volk, though. Do we even beat the Volk? Does the Volk just wash us? I yes. The Volk, the Volk washes us. You got a Thunder. We have to get Para. Yep. We have to get Para on this right now. You gotta get it. 
Clefable. You missed because of Life Orb. Don't prove Joey right. Don't do it to me. Clefable is also one of the few Pokemon no. that's go with Life Orb in singles, by the way. I, there I, is no like, way this shit. Maybe not Spadef Clefable. That's insane. <laughs> and that's it. Troller's gone. Nido King's gone. Focus Punch. We're going to win. Focus Punch. <laughs> I can't believe it. Couldn't even miss. Down huh? to 1537. Zard. Okay, so he has some points. I can't believe you, man. About mid ladder, which is, I think, honestly, <laughs> fine for testing this Why? out. A dual chop. We were running the heat. It missed. 90%. I didn't. How could that move miss? I moved some trash, to be honest. That is, that's wild. This, oh, this is what oh, I'm talking God. about, bro. Enough. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Also, we're running Hasty Torn. An ad in five seconds. Thank you so much for letting me know, you two. That's another thing, though. Hasty Torn? That Kartana is a demon. You don't got no leftovers recovery on anything. This cart is a demon. Bro, life orb on slow bro means if you scald Garchomp, you get two a KO by Earthquake. <laughs> Another OU team. That that's just so tough. I, I can't believe it. Well, let's lead. You know, I don't I don't feel comfortable leading this anymore because of the Tapu. You have to go Nido King. Yeah, no way am I leading. Tapu smacks, so you can also go Clef. Tapu. Look at my team, then look at an electric type <laughs> once Nido King's gone. Yeah. It's not pretty. It's Clef. Fable. Clef is decent for mid ground yeah, for Lele. Lele comes out. Uh, <laughs> this thing's going to hurt, right? This is going to wash me. Moonblast, Smart. 47%. Not as bad as I thought, but our the drop. attack is down. Okay. Uh, but yours is too. Good not trade, bad. good trade. Cartana switches in. Okay, okay, okay. Up. I get the, I mean, I'll, I'll keep watching. I get the rocks play, but a little bit greedy considering that Lele is specs is going to come in and click the same thing over and over. Press Leaf Blade. Jesus Christ. Jeez. 48%. <laughs> That's way too much. Go ahead and U-turn. Way too much. U-turn right now on the Coco. Like your choice band. Has to be. Does anything take... Yeah, honestly, do, things do take a hurricane. You're switching into... Just double the Nidoking hard. Don't even take status. Coco. Yep. Nice. All right, so, so this is good Coco because there's you know, no Ice Beam switching. You're, you're just going to Volt Switch, so there's no way I go for a Focus Punch. He means U-turn, obviously. Come out. I just play it safe and go for, what, Sludge Wave? Ice Beam free. Probably. Can't touch yeah. you. Don't go into cart, right? I could earth power just as easily. So Lando comes out nice. Oh, well. Ice Beam was free, but so if it has leftovers, it doesn't matter. Not bad at all. A switch is so predictable for me, but uh, I, I have to do it anyways. Right, U-turn does hurt. Right, I cart. just couldn't let my Nidoking go down. Surprised it didn't Lando go cart, because <laughs> cart got a kill. Tapu Coco just rain terror at that point. Cart literally clicked leaf lift. Right, Coco comes right back out. You're just going to U-turn. I know you're going to U-turn. Uh, so let's get our teleport. Good play, good play. Man, the guard chomp now. I don't know, man. These these life orbs though ain't be doing too much you know, for them. This, this stops Blaze and Yoshitsune from sweeping now. That was a good plan. My What's your response? Bringing in guard chomp. Your response just teleported out. You have your fast Lando, right? You have your fast Lando with a U turn. So does this mean that you probably tank chomp? chomp? Yeah, it's probably tank. This might mean you're a stealth rock chomp. In that case, I could go need okay, and beat it. Stealth rock chomp but still but runs I more speed than Nido King. Just yet. Yeah. I can't do that. I have to go into you. I'm Did not that hurt? And if you are rocks, oh, then Jesus. I can scale shot. Oh, right. good thing I didn't go into the other guy. Ooh. Nice. Oh, look at life orb on the other side too. And your life orb too. What do I do here? What on earth do I do? I don't think you can go, bro. This is tough. Are you at full health? No, you're at 82. <laughs> Sword stand. Ooh. Yo, it's at 82. It's at 82. No you leftovers. The future sight or the scald? I know we're not gonna burn. I, I know we're not gonna burn. I, I think Scald is still However, stronger. Minus yeah. Defense. We're gonna oh my. He died because of life orb! <laughs> How much is this doing? <laughs> he, he died because of yeah, life orb. We don't get the burn. However, now you're at range for this. <laughs> Yo, this. You are now at range for this. This damn lander is looking like a threat. Y you you don't gain anything from just pressing Sword Stance. Okay, switch into Tapu Lele. That's fine. Aggro, but decent. We probably live a Moonblast. No, Wait, you do not. It, do? it was Specs. Like, it's... It didn't even do 50. Specs. I don't know if that's specs or not. That's hella specs. I feel like Lele specs just always does 100%. But either way, we don't even have a switch in. Yeah, Needle King gets two a KO'd. Right, because you get you got, So they can technically well, end game with Blaze again, but else. plus two Blaze Kick but does not kill Zapdos. With an Iron Hit, that would be so nice. Oh, yeah, we can't even switch into Clef anymore. That's why oh, That's why the Rocks yeah, were a cool play, but they were a little bit greedy. Nothing outspeeds and kills. Now I'm just criticizing the battle, but I'm just giving constructive criticism, okay? I'm just waiting to see if Life Orb comes into play. It has it so far. So far, bro died. Yeah, 100% that is specs. I told ya. Like, what would we even switch out into Good. afterwards? That's crazy. 48%. Getting another 
special attack drop, and we don't even get it this time. Bro, they have to kill oh, it with man. Hurricane from Tornadoes. Oh my, my, oh my god. It's Specs. It can't use psychic moves. I can't Needle believe could have worked. Sometimes. Yeah. I make these plays on knowing exactly who's about to switch in. And then I, <laughs> then you get I lost in the sauce. Means. You can't go Needle King, bro. You it's get crazy, two a KO. It's a crazy world. Look at this. We at least you get a free switch. ice beam. You know I'm gonna sludge wave or something. Not to be to be honest, Lele should stay in here and click Moonblast anyway, just because um, you're gonna do like 70% to this thing. Normally it would do like 50%, but it's gonna be like 70%, and then Coco can just clean up in the end. Oh, dies to that either way. I swear you're you don't need card. you don't need we, Lele. We already lost this game. Yep. Yeah, Moonblast. Anyway, 62. So if I had focus punch, that would just be my the end of my career there. Garchomp. Smart. Yeah, that is scale it. Scale shot. Yeah, and you definitely scale shot. You don't even have to scale shot, to be honest. You scale you just Earthquake. Who cares if they go? So our only hope here, focus punch. That's all we can do. Scale shot. One, <laughs> two. Blaziken doesn't have speed. Earthquake kills it. You got to go torn into Blaziken. You turn. Let's go. Scale shot one two. Hey, one. life orb here too as well, killing the Garchomp. I cannot. I like leftovers a little bit better on offensive Garchomp. Uh, quick attack boys again next time. That's the only way. Quick attack boys again. All right, zero and two now, with life orb. On two losses, I feel like I will almost be out of a video title. <laughs> you know, I was planning on making this. Maybe it is uh, like the complete opposite of Poke Games title, <laughs> but now it might just life have to be something lukewarm. This is bad. Oh yeah, he's right. Life orb does suck. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like my team and my opponent's team look very similar. This isn't too bad of a game. Even though there is only one mon in common. I'm we've all, we've all the threat, but this isn't too bad. Here. I'm just going to go into my Nido King as you go into the Urshifu. That's not good for us. Let's switch out into our Troller. It lets us get a free, uh, what is it, Future Sight off. That did nothing. Uh, if you do go into the Weavile, this is the beauty of Future Sight. It is that Protect the Pats? opponent to want to go into their Dark Types. Uh, or something like a steel type to resist. It went from future side to life orb. Come in and then uh, set up for the sweep that way. So you start setting. Also, I don't think that's how it actually works. I think showdown is uh, is broken. Like I don't think future side supposed to take life orb on the turn you do. That's what somebody said. It doesn't do that in game. There's spikes as we can bring in the blaziken. I'm not even gonna wait to like click whatever it is. Life orb is just going to. I mean that's a kill. You. That's a kill right now. I was ooh future side did hit that turn. Sweet exactly what I was hoping for now your your aqua jet just probably kills anyways doesn't it yeah so it doesn't even matter nice you connect definitely kill now now that I'm at uh, I mean that's great as well for just, do I just in general switch out and let it uh, get rid of my boost you should definitely save uh, this probably. it clicks close combat safely already there's no point in just losing a member like that that does so well he knew I'd switch out too Unless you just don't have Aqua Jet. Maybe it's Scarf. Either you don't have Aqua Jet or you're Scarfed. Yeah. That's pretty useful knowledge. Bro, if they go for Future, future Sight and take a Life Orb hit, you don't, have don't they 2 a KO? You have a decent amount of switch-ins here. As long as you're not low kick or something goofy like that. Sword Stance. Uh -oh. Nice. Um, probably nothing you have to kill me. Although maybe an Axel could do it. Not gonna lie. Maybe you go an back into our Shifu with that. I'd say the safest thing is just to go for an Iron Head. Yeah, okay. Don't think you can kill us with that. Right, if you got U-turn, go for it, dude. Shifu, which I believe... Whoa. Oh, yeah, the future, future sight. <laughs> I, I, I always forget that. Again, I forgot, too. And it just uh, works out for me. It's a fair so throw. should have been the mid ground. You know, we pressured the Weavile to come nice, in though. because of the future sight. Then we bring in our Bisharp. Game's looking easier. Which to switch out into something which just dies to it. I, I would have switched out to the fair throw if I yeah. were you. Unless you think fair throw is useful against the rest of my team, which... I don't really think so between Nido King, which you might assume is Fire Blast, and then the Blaziken. Uh, but anyways, we're putting a situation here. I mean, Clef. Which I don't have to be in. I can just put into our Clef here. Hurricane, tiny damage. This mon is goofy. This mon is insane. No real point in rocks, because, personally, because they're both you know, boots. I just wasn't but... participating in OU when it was the, the deal. It still is the deal. Everyone's using it. But uh, a, a bit less, so I'd say. I know I just got my rocks up, but I don't like taking that spike damage since I keep on having to take life orb damage as well. <laughs> and that's why we don't like life orb. Make use of my rocks. Bro, right there is the exact re Now, like I said, Needle King and Clef, the exceptions, anything with recovery, Venusaur on Sun, with like Giga Drain. Um, Rillaboom is also like one of those that's fine with life orb because it actually lets you get kills with stuff. What am I, I didn't realize my hair was like falling down that much. Why didn't anybody tell me? But. Uh, yeah, I mean that that's just right there. Like that's that's the key thing right there. And I he, he clearly understands that that's the problem.
right? You're, you're just gonna stay in. Yeah, because your special defenses. If you had knock here, it would have been so good too. As the sludge bomb does way too much. So to much us. damage. I can you turn out of here? Uh oh. Yep, that's all. Uh oh, don't to do. Will you turn out into? Don't go bitch out, bro. You might get do, flamed. You definitely predict. There's no way you don't predict this and go for like a fire blast. Yeah. Just don't go. Don't go for another poison. No way you did that. I, so I always, yeah, Bishar was hella free. I, I suppose sometimes it, it pays to just make the easy plays, but I don't know. I felt Bisharp was just so free. To be fair, they do have Feral Throw, which eats a hit at plus like two. a Flamethrower or Fighting Move if it had it. But I'm not complaining because now it lets my Bisharp get in on, uh, you know, Feral Throw and hitting a knockoff. 51%. Oof, big that's damage. That's damage for you right there. Damn, oh, that's, that's a little bit impressive. So it probably wasn't defensive given the fact it has uh, leftovers. It lets us bring in our U. It lets oh, us it wasn't fizz death, you meant. Yeah, I don't. I, I see no reason not to go into you. You can just leech seed, which hurts. I mean, that hurts, right? Leech seed does suck, but um, I'm not going to set up. Look at this damage. 30, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that was no damage. Hey, if this was Blitz, you did it, though. Fables down, so we really don't have all that need of a switch in into you. I like Blaziken, but not too much. Right, I like it a fair amount. It can I mean, Needle King's arguably you. worse. We Val outspeeds it and kills it at this percent. Honestly, I let Blaze can go. Sixty-five yeah. percent. You need that. You need that flare blitz. Right, and you miss. I knew you'd miss. We played the miss. <laughs> oh. oh no, that was not part of my. <laughs> that was not part of my calc. Tornadoes takes us out, and I mean, I can't believe that. What is that? Ninety percent accuracy too. It, it, it's a theme. It's a trend. Yeah, U turn kills. U turn kills. Although, what do you switch into? You don't switch into. Yeah, you definitely switch into the slow. I was gonna say superpower does do nice against these two, but everyone ain't bad. I'm gonna lie. The slow for, for free. That that did 25. That U turn just did 25. That did way too much for a U turn. Nido King's decently safe. What do you do? Future sight. I swear, now he's gonna go for the flamethrower. Either way, Nido King's safe. I don't have the balls to go into Bisharp right now. Future sight. Hello, that's safe. fine. Watch me focus punch. Focus is raw. Focus oh is raw. Gosh, focus I don't think they ever go Weavile. Crazy. They're going to go Torn, if anything. Power switch. <laughs> <laughs> Andy crit, too. Andy crit, too. Oh, my God. Earth Yo, my dude has no luck. But they playing me on the other side. Tornadoes or something, because you're defensive. I don't even know if you're defensive. Oh, my God. I can't believe you just did that to me. Ferrothorn's weak. Life Orb, two knockoffs will take it out. I mean, that's it, right? I think yeah, Weavile just cleans up. You have no switch ins to this life orb bishop. No! There oh. goes these. Bro, ain't no Buffalo Wild Wings. We'll take that future set attack. All I know about Buffalo Wild Wings is that I've waited three hours for food, never got it, restaurant closed, that was it. Forget them. Very nicely as well. Shout out to all my subs that work at Buffalo Wild Wings, by the way. I'm sure you guys are nicer people than the people that worked there when I was there. Tornadoes comes out. I don't know. Tornadoes is the one thing that. Uh, I'm very surprised I that they sacked King. On your team. Considering it, roost. it gets it's a like kill with kills. Torn and Slowbro being out. I'd imagine. It's like a bunch easily kills. Or Life Orb Bisharp. It's got a kill. Yeah, nice. Black Glass is killed too. On the sucker. This is so tense in the late game. Right, Weavile, it doesn't beat uh, you in one hit. And you have it to burn it. If you burn it, you can get sure back. You're at, like, max health right now. But if it has it doesn't matter. You could body press and then we could switch into you. Although you're not Rocky Helmet, you're not defensive. We can't get extra damage with knockoff. I want to keep Bisharp around for Weavile. Because Weavile this Bisharp would be at like almost 60% if it yeah. didn't have a life orb. Maybe not the slow, bro. But I do want to keep you around. I, st I, I still kind of think like hitting them there and then maybe trying to risk Torn is the better play. Right now this essentially guarantees that you're back at max HP. Knockoff. That's so good. That is so good for us. That's so good for it us. Is. Now the Weavile doesn't get its knockoff damage. Yeah. That's the move it's carrying. I think it's still good. It's knockoff in this gen. Um, I think that's really good for us. Yeah, now we bring in Tornadus. It can still technically SD. Hurricane or Superpower. Well, it, not it, it can only SD in front of Bro. Superpower won't do too much, but Weavile, Weavile just kills you anyway with a triple axle. So uh, if you're dead, it doesn't make a difference. That is 49%. So much. You have nothing to you know, immediately heal yourself back up. Go for a Leech Seed. All right, now you get a Hurricane. Do you have Protect? Maybe. It doesn't make a difference to me. I just press superpower. You don't switch in. It killed? Oh, damn. I think it was oh, really crucial that Bishop. 35 to 49. Okay, around. maybe. And now our slow, our slow bro's really good, too. 
Now you pray that Slubber doesn't get burnt. Do here? Or that it does burn you it. Still die, Otherwise it doesn't do a KO. Yeah, you still die. Oh, never mind. GG, we won a game. We won a game with Life Orb. That's it. It That's only took 20 game. minutes. I hate to say it, but I think he was right. Life Orb. <laughs> hey, hey, you heard it. He hates to say it, but I was right. But let, let's keep listening. <laughs> it did not put in the most work for us. Granted, that dual chop miss, it, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. <laughs> but Pokian, if you are watching this, then mm -hmm. at this point, I just have to tell you. Love your videos. Keep it up. Great work. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. But yeah, guys, overall, uh, I just wanted to kind of like watch that video together and see how it uh, it went. Um, yeah, Life Orb. Oh my god, what happened to my hair? Life Orb is, uh, it's again, it's good on Needle King, it's good on Clef, but it's just not the item for most Pokemon. Bishop, you saw it killing itself too many times. Uh, bro, you saw it knock itself out without killing Garchomp. Garchomp still would have been range of Sucker Punch anyway. Um, it did help in that scenario, though, where the Torn was able to beat Feral Thorn. I'm, I'm going to be honest, that was a, a kind of roll right there, that 36-49. Close, though. Uh, it most likely was in his favor, regardless. And then the, the Weavile kind of, like, made the wrong play at the end. They definitely had to kill Torn and then SD in front of Bro. Pray not to be burnt, because Slowbro's non-Life Orb Scald, uh, I don't think two it kills Weavile, or it's very close. So they would have to avoid the burn and lose there, and then Weavile can potentially beat Bisharp at the range of Zap. But overall... Very fun video to watch. Uh, cool to see uh, things like that. It's a lot better than someone saying, No, Joey, your opinion's wrong. I'd rather like things like that as responses. But yeah, guys. So next week's video where I talk and stuff is going to be about Volcarona. And that should be a lot of fun. That should be a ton of fun, honestly. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Check out the original video. And that's it. Later, guys. Peace.